Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, if you haven't guessed it by the title, I am showing you what I picked up at my recent trip at Ikea. But before we get into this video, I just want to say if you are new here and this is the first time you've stumbled across my content, then a very warm welcome to you. Where have you been? We have been creating content for just under two years now. My name is Charlie and I live in Teesside. I create content on lifestyle, shopping hauls, I decorate my home for different seasons, so whether that's Easter, Autumn, Christmas, I've got a selection of videos that I've done in the past. So if this channel is something that you do enjoy and you enjoy this video, then please consider subscribing. All you've got to do is hit that red subscribe button down below and also you can hit that notification bell. And that means that YouTube will notify you every time that I upload. I tend to upload on a Thursday and a Sunday at 10am. However, I do shot in bonus uploads as well. So the reason that I went to IKEA today, one, I was at the Metro Centre and IKEA is five minutes away. And two, I just wanted to pick up some different items for my home. I've started to change my home and I'm bringing in accent colour of black. So I wanted to go and have a look in IKEA. Also, my daughter is going to university in September. So I also just picked up some little items for her as well. Before we get into this video, I do want to say this is not a very big haul, but if you've been here for some time, you know every time that I buy something, I always like to show you guys. So while I was in store, I did do a little come shop with me. So you will have seen that video if you've been here for some time. If not, once you've watched this video, go back and take a look. It's not a very long video. I'm just showing you different items that I've seen while I was in Ikea. But the first thing that I am going to show you is the bag from Ikea. Now, I don't know about you, but I do not like the blue and the yellow bags from Ikea. I prefer the beige and the neutral bags. That bag was £3, but I would rather show you the neutral side of Ikea than the yellow and blue bags. Just going to pull items out of the bag randomly and then i'm going to tell you either where i'm putting them what the for, the vision that i had so the first thing that i'm going to show you is this cushion cover now the insert i did not buy from ikea the insert i bought from dunelm but i did want a black cushion for my sofa and as you can see i have got one here as well and i've got one on the other side but I did want a black cushion cover. Now I'd looked all over and I could not find a dark black cushion cover. So I went to places like The Range, Dunelm. I went to Asda. I just couldn't find a cushion cover that I just wanted black plain. So like what I said, the insert I didn't get from Ikea. I got it from Dunelm and it is the choppable one. But these cushion covers were £3 each, which I thought were an absolute bargain. I did only need three, so it cost me £9 for cushion covers, where to be fair, places like Dunelm and The Range, you're going to pay that just for one cushion cover. So I did pick up a black cushion cover, well I picked up three actually, and they are the choppable pillows that I bought from Dunelm. So I just thought I'd show you that. Also another large item that I'm going to show you, I've got a Calyx unit in my front room and at the moment it's all beige boxes because my home was once beige and white but I am changing it now to the black and the white so I needed to change them boxes now they have eight spaces so all I've done was I just picked up you'll have seen these before I just picked up the black boxes for there I have had the black ones in there before and I got rid of them because I wanted the beige but these are four pound each so I needed eight today. So this was one of the main reasons I did go into Ikea because I knew I wanted these boxes. Now these are the Drona boxes and they were £4 each, which I don't think is too bad. So places like B&M, Argos, they all sell these type of boxes. But I find the ones from Ikea do fit the Calyx unit perfect. So I did pick up eight of these. I then picked up this tall glass vase now this was actually from the bargain corner and it was £2.50 and the reason that I picked this up 
is I'm going to fill this with limes just as a decor piece for my kitchen. So I am going to start to refresh my kitchen as well and change that up a little bit. I tend to do this after Christmas. So I'll change my whole home just after Christmas. But I did see on Instagram that someone had bought one of these and they just filled it with limes and I thought it looked really stylish. So that's the reason that I bought this. Like what I said, it was £2.50. It does have the lid on it. Obviously, it's all secured on there. But if you don't go to the bargain corner at Ikea, then you're missing out. You really need to go and check these items out in the bargain corner. This could have been on display. It could be that it's end of stock, so they're getting rid of them. If you really like your organisation, you could put your pastas all in here. You could get one for a spaghetti. But I just picked it up for limes. So you will see it over on my Instagram how I do style all of these items. So I will leave my Instagram handle on screen. Please head on over there and please give me a follow if you do use Instagram because I do share a lot of my home on there. So yeah, I just picked up this £2.50. I thought it was an absolute bargain. Another thing that was in the sale, I think I actually picked two of these up, is these little black vases. Now again, I am introducing black into my home and I do have quite a few knickknacks out. But on my Calyx unit, it seems to be all glass. So I thought if I just pick up some bits like this, if they don't go on that unit, then I will style these on shelves. So I've got shelves in my hallway just above my big Ikea mirror. And I've also got shelves in my kitchen as well. But I just thought if I don't style these in the front room, then I could style these in the hallway or on my kitchen shelves. These were an absolute bargain. These were only one pound. So I did pick up two. Now I never normally buy in equals. I normally buy in odds. But I am going to maybe style these in different rooms so it wouldn't make a difference. So I did pick up two of them. They're so nice. So because I've started to introduce the black and the white, so I have got new black curtains. I will show all this over on my Instagram, but it's not really finished yet. Um, so once it's all finished, I will show you over on Instagram and I'll also show you over on here as well. But because my sofa is this mink colour, obviously I didn't want to get rid of my sofa, so I've started to introduce the black cushions. While I was in Ikea today, I seen this cushion. Now, I really like this cushion. As soon as I seen it, I really liked it. And I don't know if this is a new print that's coming into Ikea because I've seen it all over. Now, all I'm going to do on this, I've got a cuddle chair. So I'm going to put my black pillow at the back and I'm just going to sit this one in front of it, which I think will look really nice. I will insert a photograph just here of how it looks. But this cushion was only £5 and I thought even if... I don't want the pattern on there. I could just buy a cushion cover for this pillow. The only thing that I have noticed on it is that I'm not sure what this is. Now, I thought it was a unicorn, which to be fair, I don't want unicorns in my front room. But I just really like the pattern. So I did pick up this and it is to go into this room. And I could even pop it in the middle of my two black cushions on my sofa but I did buy it for that snuggle chair so like what I said I will have shown you the photograph on screen of how it looks on that sofa but I just thought it was really nice for £5 I also bought a new curtain rail from Ikea and the rail itself was £8 now if you've ever bought anything from Ikea whether that be lights or curtain rails you have to buy the bracket separately and you also have to buy the end separately so I did buy a black curtain pole and that's just because I put my black curtains up and I've still got a silver pole up so I just needed to switch it so when I'd had a look there were so many different ends for the pole and I actually went with I'm going to get these ones out for you I actually just went with these ones. Now, I just think these are really nice. They do match the pole that I've bought. And these were £5 for the set of two. 
So they've done glass ones. They've done one like this, but it had a glass ball in the middle. Really affordable and really nice. So I did just pick up a pack of them. Five pounds, you really can't fall off. So the rail was eight and it is extendable. And five pound for the ends. Now I didn't need the brackets because you can't see the brackets on my curtain pole. So I'm just going to leave the silver ones up. I really didn't need another expense. But I did pick up them to go with the curtain pole. So really for £14, it cost me for a rail and the two ends. Which you go anywhere else and it would cost you a lot more than that. Especially with it extending as well. I tend to go to Ikea and have these visions in my head. And then when I get them home, nothing fits. So I was quite happy that that pole was extendable. So I did pick up that pole. When my daughter goes to university, she's not sure if she wants to house share or she wants to just get a little place on her own. So I did have in mind that she was just going to get a little place on her own. I think we would prefer it if she was in a place on her own. Um, my daughter is... She likes her own space and I think she would struggle with a house share. However, she said that she's quite okay with a house share, but I did have in mind that she would be on her own when I picked up these items. So I picked up four packs of the tea towels and it's little things like this that would cost her and it all mounts up. So I thought we would start to buy just little pieces for her. And these were actually in the sale as well. So these are going out of stock. They were £1.50. And again, I did have in mind that she was going to be on her own. So that's why I picked these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do a little box for her. So I will get new duvets, new blankets, things that are going to be homely for her. Um, and I understand you've got to use plates and things like that. So we will start going and getting her some items. And to be fair, I am going to take you on the journey with me. So, well, with her, because I want to film her moving on to her next stage in life, which is leaving home and going to university because she's not actually going to a university in Teesside. So hopefully I'll be able to film all that journey and we can do shopping hauls. Let me know if that's something that you would like to see with my daughter going to uni and shopping for her next stage in life. So I did pick up them, pound fifty, absolute bargain. Again, I bought this with thinking that she's going to be living on her own and I've purchased these before. I think I've showed them on my channel. They were 50 pence when I picked them up, but they're in the bargain corner again. And they're just this gorgeous little pot. Now... They were 50 pence and today they were 30 pence. And I just thought, you know, for maybe hand wash or, I mean, I used to use this for my washing up liquid. I just used to think it looks so much nicer sat by your sink rather than your fairy liquid bottle. So I did pick up this in with that vision that she would use this for her washing up liquid or hand soap. So for 30 pence, I just thought I'd pick that up for her. And if she does go to a house share, she could always decant a face creams or something in here or a bit of moisturiser or facial wash and use it for in her room. So I did pick up that as well for her. Also for my daughter going to university um, and having her own place in mind, I picked up these three succulents. Now, these were pound fifty. These were in the bargain corner as well. And I just thought, even if she doesn't get her own place and she does house share, she could decorate her room with these. She could just dot them about. And I'd, I just love a succulent. So I just thought I'd get these for her. And like what I said, we are just going to pick up little items. She does actually want to go to Ikea herself um, and have a look what's there as well. So I will take you along with me. I will do hauls from items that she does pick up as well. So I hope that you will stick around and watch this. This is a big part in my life as well because my firstborn is going to be leaving us to go and study law and I'm so proud of her but I just wish she would be a little bit more close at home that she'd be able to come home after uni. But I do understand she does have to 
spread her wings and she does have to move to do university. And to be fair, she's not going to come out of university till she's at least 27. But she has assured me that she will be coming back home to see us. Not every week, however, every couple of weeks because I think she'll miss us as well. So I just picked up these £1.50. Just pop them there. It's a good job that I remembered all the prices because I've already just found my receipt and I'm almost done with my haul. So every time I go to Ikea, I always pick up some tea lights and today's no different. Now, the reason that I picked these up is because of the image on the front. Now, obviously, I can't read Swedish, but I'm thinking that these are the scent of log burning. So I picked up these. You get 30 in a pack and I picked up two because these are in the sale for £1 each. Now, if you've been here for some time, you know I just I don't leave them in a pack like this. I decant them into a jar and I have them out on display. They do actually smell really nice. I've just got a whiff of them there and they do actually smell really nice. So I did pick up two of them. They were £1 each in the sale. Ikea do a scent and it's called, well, the image on it is like grass and it's one of them candles that I don't know how it sells because it's absolutely awful. But anything like wood or log burning or fire, I absolutely love that smell. So that's why I picked them up. Again, for my daughter, again, I did have her being on her own in mind for this. I picked these up. Now, I thought these were an absolute bargain. So if you're looking for the soap dispenser, the toothbrush tumbler and the soap dish, Ikea had them in the bargain corner today, all three, and they were £1. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not anything special. And they are just plastic. But they will do anyone who's starting out. Um, so you got the soap dispenser. You get the toothbrush tumbler. Now they are only plastic. And you also get the soap dish as well. However, I think I would have mine just styled like this. I don't like having bars of soap or anything like that. I just think it's really unhygienic. Um, so we never ever use bars of soap. I may actually buy a bar of soap, but I never ever use it, it'd just be for decor. But I thought these were really good for one pound. And again, they're in neutral, so she might not want a neutral bathroom. But I just thought, if she doesn't want them, they're only a pound. I would probably give these to a friend or, you know, give them away. These would do anyone starting out. And then the last 10 items, they are all the same. But if you've been here for some time, you know I absolutely love florals. And Ikea florals can be a little bit pricey. Now, when I seen these, I had visions of putting them in these or in Christmas trees, in garlands. You know that I will put anything in a Christmas tree. So if I don't use these around my home, I will definitely use these in garlands and wreaths and things like that. But they are these four flowers. Now, believe it or not, these were 40 pence each. So I did pick up 10 and I just think they look really, really nice. So I just picked up 10 of them. And again, these will just go into my craft cupboard or my decorating cupboard. But I did actually have this in mind. So let's gather a few together. And they're quite easily bendable. You can just bend them into shape. But even if we've done something like this. So in there, I've got five of them flowers at 40 pence each. And also just one of the pound vases. And again, my daughter could actually take one of these and style on a shelf. Um, but I just thought for 40 pence each, I wasn't going to leave them. So I did pick up 10 of them. And like what I said, if I don't use them in them vases, 
then I will just pop them away. I will find a use for them. I do always pick up florals from Ikea, especially when they're so cheap. But 40 pence each, so there's four pounds worth there. But I just thought I'll get them and I'm always doing some sort of DIY. So that is the end of my Ikea haul. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I do hope you'll consider sticking around if you are not already subscribed. I will leave some more videos on screen for you to go and check out. I've got so much more content coming up. I've also got my Come Decorate for Spring with me. So I've just put all of this decor out and it's all going to have to go away because I've got my spring decor to do. So also let me know down below if you'd like to see me vlogging my daughter's journey going to university if you would like to see some of the items that she's been picking up then let me know in the comments down below i would love to showcase her going to university and it's it's something for her to look back on in a couple of years time she can look back at the videos and say we made it so i am going to leave this video here and i've got so much more filming to do but I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.